show you guys how to play outside ideas over a chord progression. And what I mean by that is basically playing any notes, scales, or arpeggios that aren't given to you by that key center or those chords. So in that intro, I was playing over A minor seven going to D minor seven, just two chords, although you'll hear some pretty funky notes in there. Some of those are chromatic notes. Some of those come from the altered scale, from the diminished scale. So we're gonna look at a way to start to implement those outside notes within your playing. And the way we're gonna do that is by focusing on the transitions between one chord and another. So one of the best ways to do this, in my opinion, is using five chords, which basically help you build tension before resolving on another chord. So to use that intro chord progression as an example, even though there are just two chords there, we're going to superimpose two other chords in that progression. And those chords are going to be A7 and E7, because the A7 is the five chord of D minor, and the E7 is the five chord of A minor. So what I'm going to do is, even though the chords are just going from A minor 7 to D minor 7, at some point before the D minor 7, in my head, I'm going to think about playing over an A7. And when I'm on the D minor 7, before I resolve back to the A minor 7, I'm going to think about playing over E7. So right now we have four measures of A minor 7 and four measures of D minor 7. What I'm going to do is just take that last measure of each chord and make it the five chord of the next chord. So the resulting chord progression would be three measures of A minor 7, one measure of A7, three measures of D minor 7, and one measure of E7. And even though that's not what the backing track is doing, if I highlight those chords in my ideas, it's going to sound like I'm building more tension before resolving to that next chord, which allows you to go outside that A natural minor scale or whatever scale you're used to using over this without making it sound random and it'll bring it back into the key nicely. So I'm going to show you what these chords would sound like if they were actually playing those five chords that we're thinking of, um, because that's the sound that we're kind of going to go for as we're soloing. <laughs> So we're gonna pretend as though we're playing over that progression, even though the chords in the backing track aren't really doing that. To get started with this, on that fourth measure where we have the A7, and on the eighth measure where we have the E7, I'm just gonna play notes from that chord's arpeggio, and I'll get comfortable with that first. So let's give it a shot. I'll show you what it might sound like. take it a step further and over that A7 and E7 we're going to use their respective altered scales. The altered scale basically just gives you some extra notes, some nice tensions that you can use over those chords that just give you a different sound. So the A altered scale looks like this. It's the seventh mode of a melodic minor scale, so you could think of it as going up a half step from your root and playing a melodic minor scale. So it's like playing a B flat melodic minor scale. So that means for the E7, an E7 alter scale would be like playing an F melodic minor. So the one for E7 looks like this. So now I'm going to play over that loop again. Same idea, just now in the fourth measure, I'm going to play A altered scale ideas. On the eighth measure, I'm going to play E altered scale ideas. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another thing you'll notice here is that over the A minor seven and the D minor seven, I'm just playing things that I would typically play over those chords. That's a great way to start to incorporate things you're not as comfortable with into things that you are comfortable with. Let yourself play habitual licks or things you're used to playing and just really make sure over that transition part where we're adding in those five chords, really try to utilize some of those notes that outline that five chord. All right, so next we're gonna look at a diminished scale. And basically, you can use this instead of an altered scale if you want. There's a lot of opportunities with diminished. There are different triads in there that you can combine and create some really cool sounds with. But I would start by just getting used to the scale. So if I wanna play over the A7, I'm gonna choose an A half whole diminished scale. So you can think starting from A, you're gonna do a half step, then a whole step, then a half step, a whole step, a half step, whole step, so on. So it looks like this. This and the altered scale are pretty similar. The main difference is that you have a natural fifth here and you have a natural six. In the altered scale, you just have a flat six or sharp five and you don't have a natural fifth or natural six. All right, so now for that fourth measure, I'm gonna play an A half whole diminished scale to suggest like an A seven flat nine sort of sound. And over that eighth measure, I'm gonna play E half whole diminished ideas to suggest an E seven flat nine sort of sound. Last thing I'm sort of doing to tie together all these ideas is using chromatic passing tones or enclosures. And essentially I use those as a way to connect an idea to another or to extend a phrase within a certain range of the guitar or to just even give myself more time to think. I have another video about chromatic passing tones and enclosures on my channel that you can check out. I'll link to it here. As a general tip, it's nice to use them leading into chord tones or leading into any note that you're using as a resolution note. So yeah, the way I would start is pick a chord progression, superimpose a five five chords somewhere in there. Remember, you're gonna use it just a measure or even half a measure before resolving on that next chord. Start with just getting used to the arpeggios and then you can add in more notes from the altered scale or diminished scale. And obviously those scales are good to know up and down the neck, different positions, playing through them in patterns. A lot of cool ideas can come from altered scale and diminished scale. I'm sure I'll be making another video about those. So subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to ask any questions below. I hope this helps, till next time.